You are listening to an exclusive interview on Bass Musician Magazine. The interview starts now. Hey everybody, this is Raul for Bass Musician Magazine, and today we have the great honor and pleasure of chatting via the virtue of Skype with bassist Melissa Petito, all the way from Italia. Hi. <laughs> hey, everyone. Hi. So, Melissa, we always like to start from the beginning. Tell us, how did you get started in music and on bass? Okay, so I started uh, when I was uh, 11 years old, uh, and I played the flute. I don't, I don't start with the bass. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, when I was um, 18, I started with the bass, with the double bass uh, on uh, 20 years old. And what what was it about bass that attracted you to play? Because obviously a flute is easier to carry than a bass. <laughs> so it's strange, but uh, I know. Um, the bass, I love it. Um, I always love him. Uh, love it, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I started because uh, I like very much the Queen. Uh, so John Deacon uh, influenced, influenced me. And the disco music that listened to my father, uh, it was a natural... Um, a natural it, choice? It was natural for me yes. to play the bass because I love it. Once you started on bass, I know that you have formal training and studying how where did you pursue your schooling on? Uh, at the beginning i started uh, by um myself so you were self-taught self self yes of course For two years old i studied uh, with dino fiorenza my teacher of bass uh, mm -hmm. is famous dino fiorenza um, i don't know if you know him I... and today I, I study with him and i know that we've seen a lot of video. I see a lot of your YouTube videos and things. What projects are you working on? So I'm working on my um, uh, EP mm -hmm. um, uh, with my song, in edit song, um, with my project named Chiedovenia, mm -hmm. uh, where I play the bass and sing too and uh, with a drum. We are only two, <laughs> so we are only bass and drums, so it's a particular form formation. We can work uh, for this uh, EP, and I hope uh, to release this very soon. How do you get your sound? What gear are you using? You mentioned you play upright, but most of what I've seen you playing is electric bass. Uh, my electric bass, my favorite electric bass is the Fender Jazz Bass. Mm -hmm. I have an American standard and uh, I love it, uh, really love it, because uh, it's uh, part of me, <laughs> really part of me. And now I have a collaboration with a mark of amplifier that named Red Sound. And this mark is from Sicily, so where I can, I am from Sicily, and it's really interesting. I can use also Aguilar. And now I start a collaboration with Toman. There is a site of uh, the most uh, largest site uh, of uh, Europe uh, for the um, instruments. Looking ahead, I know you're working on your EP. Do you have any plans for future projects like touring or anything like that? In this moment, unfortunately, no, <laughs> I haven't a uh, project, but. I hope uh, to have a, a tour very soon. I play uh, in Sicily, in Italy, but I hope to play in Europe. And uh, why not in America? <laughs> I don't know. Many times we get the impression that the European market is very happy with music. They they are they're kind to musicians. They're encouraging to musicians. Has that been the case with, with your musical career? Does it seem like a, a good a good choice? I hope. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. If people want to know more 
about mm-hmm. what you are doing. Like if your EP is out or whatever, if you're touring, the best place to look is on Facebook. Yes. Yes, it's the best um, place where uh, you can uh, see my videos and uh, mm-hmm. uh, my videos where I play with Chiedo Venia, so with this project, and uh, my personal video where I am alone uh, with bass and voice. Oh. Also on YouTube, but Facebook is the channel that I use uh, more. It's more interactive. I know YouTube is for us kind of a storage place where it's a good place to put your videos, but you get more commentary and more conversation on yeah, Facebook. Yes, it's true. We're very excited for your future projects, your EP. Make sure you let us know when it's okay. ready. We'd like to we'd love to hear it. Of course. We appreciate you taking time to share your base journey and this lovely common bond we share in in music and in bass. So with that, I say molto grazie and arrivederci. Grazie a te. Hi, bye. <laughs> You've seen her here, Melissa Petito on Bass Musician Magazine. Thanks for basing out with us here on BassMusicianMagazine.com.